What's up guys, welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Sling. How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. Please try as much as possible, guys, as usual, to support your boy. Like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Sling. And make sure you subscribe and I'll play the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. I'm here with good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So, firstly, guys, uh, this one is coming from uh, 007 actor Daniel Cray. He says, he won't leave his $160 million fortune to his kids. He'll rather give it away because inheritance is detestful. So, so for those of you who are hoping to inherit your father's property, maybe you might be surprised. When he dies, he just find out that in his will, he has given it out to charity. <laughs> so... <laughs> Where are you going to start from? So you better start hustling, guys, because there are people who are so proud, just like our Nigerian politicians who are busy working for their fourth generation with our money that we are supposed to use to develop our country now. It's quite unfortunate. And uh, meanwhile, talking about inheritance, check out what this Afghan president did. According to the news, Afghan president fleed with 169 million in his helicopter and has been given asylum in Dubai. This man put his countrymen, women in grave danger. In fact, let me play you a video of a woman who was recently begging the US soldier to allow her in because the Taliban were coming. Okay, this man comfortably left his country unannounced his citizen you see this country he flew with his family himself his entire family they left the country to save everyone in Dubai, living their life la vida loca the way they want it. That is why I keep asking us, why are we killing ourselves for the government? Don't kill yourself. Vote for the right people who will stand by you. Just imagine. This man is living his life. Why is citizen are out there clamoring, crying? It's quite unfortunate. They say uh, Ghani flee the country on Sunday night to avoid bloodshed as, as, as the Taliban closed in one of the capital, Kabul. He, report, he reportedly took with him four cars and a helicopter loaded with 169 million in bags of cash, but was forced to leave some of the money behind as it would not haul fit in the flight. Helia report said Ghani had uh, flee to whatever the, the city in Russia embassy source. It was also claimed that the former president had flew to Tanjikisha. I don't understand that. But said uh, that by that the Omar, when official, he refused him permission to land. Well, guys, there's last thing to learn from all of this. Despite it's not happening in Nigeria, but we have to learn a lesson. And uh, Laya Muhammad said, we won't rest until social media is regulated. The former the minister said this in an interview with NAN in Washington while reacting to a media report that claimed he sneaked out of Nigeria to the U.S. to meet with Twitter operator to, res to resolve the ban on the microblogging site in Nigeria. Lai Mohammed said fake news such as this reaffirms the need for social media to be regulated. You, are, you already know Sahara reporters shared a video of Lai Mohammed leaving, boarding an airplane to USA. So Sahara reporters said that he apparently leaving Nigeria, Lagos to Nigeria to have a meeting with Twitter. So we were kind of like not happy with that. Though we want Twitter to be back, to be back, to be re, re, re reinstated in Nigeria, but we should do it the right way. Twitter should be the one to come to Nigeria to dialogue with you, not you going to Twitter. That's why we all want Twitter, but let us do it the right way. Don't We don't want our government or federal government to act as a slave towards Twitter. Do we all want Twitter back? So speaking during the interview, Muhammad said, can a minister sneak out of Nigeria without people knowing? When you say I sneak out of Nigeria, are you saying I went to abroad 
at a terminal where nobody is or I travel to the Republic of Benin to fly out of the country. I was at an international airport when I presented myself openly and I was checked in at the counter like every other traveler of the airplane. I boarded and passed through the checks by the immigration service and custom. How can you come and say I sneak out of Nigeria? You and I have been here. Have I met with any Twitter officials? When you talk about fake news and its danger, we need to take it seriously. And I'm happy that the entire world is now saying what we show, what we show more than two years ago. I can assure you that we will not rest until we regulate the social media. Otherwise, nobody will survive it. <laughs> That's coming from Lai Mohammed. And guess what? Here is uh here is uh a 21 years old 21 years old girl who was recently no few months a uh, few months away arrested now the police have turned her into a maid so the person who posted this and uh, his name is Har and her name is Harrison she said Gloria was arrested 7th June 2021 and found cooking and washing for Abakari's boys at Tega Base Oweri. Her crime was allowing an alleged IPOC member attend a birthday party. She was arrested and used as soft target to arrest the said IPOC mem member. Since today we received the complaint, we have been on calls, on call, and I can assure we are making progress. Update on our Detention drop soon. Gloria is detained at IRT base Abuja and we are in touch with the new IRT head DCP Taju uh, uh, to Jane Disu. The police side of the story they accused Gloria of being a friend to a wanted alleged IPOP member. So <laughs> we have demanded for a release and we I uh, await a positive response. Six days in detention for being a friend. 68 days in detention for being a friend to an alleged IPOP member. Free, free Gloria. Let's join hands and stand in solidarity. And they also said they have been paying money ever since. The family has paid the sum of 200,000 Naira and other the sum of 20,000 Naira. It's quite unfortunate now. You see what being a friend with a criminal will cost someone. Being a friend with somebody, oh, please choose your friends very well. I know it's wrong, but since you are in Nigeria, you have to learn. Since there are some jungle rules, oh, you have to learn how to move through the jungle. You understand? Learn. Not all your friends. If you find out your friend is misbehaving or any kind of form, stay away from that person. Simple and short. Well, uh, of course, I believe a lot of people will work on this to make sure she's released safely to her family. Then I'll check out this really, really heartbreaking story. After 30, 32 years, a man disappeared, abandoned his two boys and wife, went abroad to bury an older woman. Guess what? He came back to his sons. They say a man went to work 32 years ago and never came back. He left his wife and two boys, five and three years old. The man that went to work in Lagos 32 years ago was rushed to a hospital in Saudi Arabia. And the medical doctor that attended to him happened. The medical doctor that attended to him happened to be the five years old boy he left in Nigeria. Baba actually left Nigeria with an older woman back then and relocated to Saudi Arabia. He had three children with the new wife. He had a stroke and was rushed to the hospital where the five years old boy he left in Nigeria is now a medical doctor. The whole family actually spent a lot searching for this man. The first wife spent a lot searching for him and she insisted she won't marry again because she believed her husband is still alive. Somehow. If this is not wickedness, I don't know what else it is. Well, it's quite unfortunate. <laughs> that the same you left, you left a woman and your, your wife and your two kids traveling abroad. That the same abroad, your son now is a medical doctor there. 
Your son, your leg, is not a medical doctor in that same abroad. It's blind search. Blind searching. Well, uh, it's quite unfortunate though. And there was one story the other day. A man abandoned his wife and one child traveling, traveled abroad to marry a US-based woman for five years. Divorced the woman, then came back to take his wife and, 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 and child. Well, there are some things we do not try out, despite if he hands happily ever after or whatever. There are some things we do not try. And uh, also, guys, I have so much to talk. This person is saying, if you hand just 10k per month as a man, don't think of dating or think of settling or, or think of setting up a family. 100k is enough, bro. They are good to civil service. You see people earning 35,000. They are busy, they are, they are married, and uh, of course, they are living life, they are managing themselves. But 100k to me, I think, is still managing. Come on, man, 100k. I know how much I spend a deal. 100k to me is still very much manage manageable, but don't allow social media to just talk uh, rubbish into you. Once you have that big guy, it's going to be so, so hard for you to get married. That is what is affecting most of us here because we cannot just settle for less. Because we have seen it all. That is what is affecting us. See, too much wiseness eh, Dave, is bad. I'm going to tell you straight. Don't be too wise. It's good to be wise. But when you are too wise, too much wiseness. I'm telling you, you want to settle for less. And then, you, in this world we are living in, there are people who just want less. So, well... Uh, that is just it, guys. So you have to be able to coexist with other people. And uh, this one is also coming from uh, another well, very well-known entertainment executive. His name is Figo. He said, Dear young man, please ensure you marry earlier because the older you get, the harder it becomes to find true love. I believe... Uh, one of the best places to find true love is when you are in secondary school. Though it's not, it's not, it's not advisable to be in a relationship in SS whatsoever. But one of the most really good time to get your true love is when you are in high, in university or in polytechnic. I think that, hey, find your girl there. Or where you're young, but uh, I think that that is the best best place to find someone who really, really, truly loves you. When once you miss that university time, you miss the uh, NYSE, you start going to work. Kai, hey, that time you got the audio. Trust me, I've i really, really noticed it. You got the audio. And uh, meanwhile, in Lagos, BC, who is one of uh, Nigeria gay activists based in USA. It's kind of like thinking out, thinking out loud. He said, one day soon, there will be a club named Gay Lagos. And I will own it. And it will be in Mushi one day very soon. I think there are gay clubs in Nigeria. But it shows that they are not openly gay club. But I believe there are gay clubs in Nigeria. But not that open. I'm not, I will love to investigate and go to one gay club in Nigeria just to know how it looks like but I believe there are gay clubs in Nigeria so even if a business coming to Nigeria to open a gay club I don't think you'll be the first person and then, like I've said the other day I said police are coming back again they are doing their normal stuff with lame people it happened to me in Abuja I parked a registered car Camry just double cross me, asked me to come out till four FT men wearing uh, police vests. Say they are policemen, they want to do such. I'm, I'm like, you are police pe personnel and you are not carrying your, uh, you are not driving in your uh, official car, but I was forced to comply. You know why? Because I was alone there. They caught me in a very bad situation because I was alone. But uh, thank God I was able to 
to of course respond to them in the best appropriate way and uh, they left and they gave their cobble and they did search my phone and uh check this uh comedian noble who was recently his friend was recently hijacked almost hijacked what happened? I'm on camera, yes, I'll speak on camera. What happened? Drop that camera. I'm not gonna drop it. No, no, drop that camera. What's that? Hey, smash my guy. No, no, stop. Leave me now. Stop. Outright to video. Outright to video. Outright to video. Stop. Outright to video. Stop. Outright to video. See my guy. See here. Get that thing now. Go down. Go down. Get out. For what sin? Eh? You can't shoot me, okay? Go down. Guys, calm down. Pass the sign, go down. People, they know. See, see. He didn't do anything. He just carried my guy from my house. Where's the tenner? Pass the sign. 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 Rehearsal for my for my movie shoot. Just kind of my guys. It is in his phone. Where's the phone? They all collect my phone. Sir, where's the phone? Sir, where's the phone? Every man. For what? For all these little girls. Don't stop my camera. I'm ready to video. I'm ready to video. Man, guys, uh, I think we should all pray for a friend like this guy who stood up like really, really. I mean, it's quite unfortunate. This is what they do. No uniform, nothing, nothing. Young men going after young kings. It's quite unfortunate. So these police people, we are saying police, police, police. They are people, they are us. They are young people like us. They are young people like us. If you have a police friend there, eh, I think eh, you should be able to say the truth to that person. In fact, I don't like to hang out with any police person. I don't like to hang out with any of them. I do not because mostly young people are the one causing this havoc. Don't see it. All those guys are young men. They go around stealing criminals, pure criminals. And nothing will happen. Nothing. Nothing will happen. Will, 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 will happen. What they do is that they just organize themselves. Be like, man, today make we go off the Make we just carry that car. Just move around, we could just distract some guys. That is how they do their normal uh, hustling. It's quite unfortunate, though. Don't worry. The time will come, man. Eh? All those old things will stop. And uh, I don't. I think this is really good news, guys, because the federal government are trying to implement a day, a special day for old people. Say FG to declare old people's day. The president 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 Mohammed Buhari say it will soon declare a special day for old people in Nigeria. I think that's actually really really great. I think that's really really great, guys, because they deserve it. They have worked so much, so hard for this country. I think we need to celebrate them. Thank you very much for watching. Support Ijaram's link. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Peace.